Hi guys and welcome to my live reaction of One Piece chapter 904. Um, I can't promise that you'll get much more than this live reaction for now. I don't know when I have time to do other videos because I have plans because it's my birthday tomorrow and I, I'm, I'm doing stuff with that. <laughs> so uh, but we'll see what I have time for. Um, but for now I, do, I have like 40 minutes now so that should be enough for live reaction. Me talking a little bit about it to make up for the fact that I might not have a review today, tomorrow, or at all. <laughs> uh, but let's see what happens. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right, the entrance of the Revolutionary Army Commanders. <laughs> already... It already sounds like a... Hmm. Okay. Uh, Tales of the Safe Against Project. Blah, 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 in, the standing, in the Standing Kingdom? Uh, the Trailblazing Adventurer announces his retirement. Also, I'm doing it like another like format. Usually I read on my computer. Today I'm reading on my tablet. So uh, I don't know if that's gonna change much. Just the direction of my eyes and you won't see my hand. <laughs> Momoyoro Island, Kamabaha Kingdom. Uh, the revolutionaries who have lost their long-standing base at Baltigo have moved the location of their leadership summit as well as the other uh, main base of the of operations to this land. Oh, smart! Right, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the viewer uh, because I'm that I think that's gonna mess up my speed patterns. Uh, as expected of your bloodline, Strahad Boy is amazing, and I had no idea that Sanji Boy was a prince of the German double six. He never mentioned it at all. What a cheeky boy. <laughs> On top of that, it seems that the world government has kicked Germa out because of this incident. Ooh, so they are kicked out. So even if they didn't end up joining with Big Mom, they are still banished. Nice. <laughs> Consequences for your actions. Uh, even if those actions are only intended, like even if you try to murder someone, you should still go to jail because you try to murder someone, even if it didn't succeed. Life lessons. <laughs> hmm. The executives sure are late. They should almost be here by uh, by now. But Sabo, why have you uh, been laying over there so long? Our chief of staff has been grinning nonstop ever since reading the news of our Luffy kid. <laughs> All that grinning has made his face stiff. <laughs> I love that they're just like, there's not a single panel here that doesn't have an insane amount of hearts. <laughs> Is he an idiot? <laughs> but 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 <laughs> This is Lindbergh. Sabo, we ran into a little trouble someplace nearby. Oh, that, what's the matter? We've been waiting for you. Um, so, would it be alright if we arrive a little bit later than schedule? That's fine, as long as you're not in danger. I want to meet these people. I bet you there are gonna be some people we know. Uh, all the executives of the Revolutionary Army are going to be gathering here. I'm so excited. We'll be able to meet more Lei-sama, won't we? I care more about Betty-sama. Wow. Honestly though, if I could learn how to use eyeliner and mascara as all those people, Sabo, shall we finalize the plan uh, for the operation before they get here? This year's reverie, it's finally time for us. Yes, it will be a declaration of war against the celestial dragons. <sighs> Damn, oh, we got number one here. Grand Line, Lucia Kingdom Port. Ooh, we're here. Help, someone, help me. Haul in the valuables. Where are the marines? <laughs> are you talking about those villain marines? Your king and the kingdom's strongest forces has left for the reverie. Under the flag of the Empire Backbeard, I have I have been bestowed the name of Pinkbeard. Oh dear lord. <sighs> it was it was bad enough when we had brown beard, now we have pink beard. Oh okay. Remember my name, cow in fear of the name of Blackbeard. I found you fifty two million. Oh, <laughs> His thing says Momo. Yeah, okay. Um, please stop. This is a poor town. Kill anybody who resists. Please spare me. The only thing I value in this town is the celestial gold that we that we offered to the king and the celestial dragons. 
The entire town is barely able to uh, make ends meet, but we still have to give them the celestial goal or we'll be killed. Oh my, you have such a terrible king. But more importantly, there's celestial gold in this town? Search the town. Yeah! <laughs> Poor girl. Ooh, did she fall into the hands of a lovely woman? Because that looks like a girl, right? Oh, go Morley. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> She's definitely holding onto her boobs there. <laughs> Is there something underneath the ground? Uh, pronounce this Mori similar to how you say mortally. Okay, sure. Yeah, <laughs> this giant spear. <laughs> what is that? A large harpoon? Harpoon is also pronounced as Mori. Oh, yeah, right. He hole, he hole. <laughs> oh my, what are you staring at? Why did a giant emerge from the ground? And he's dressed weirdly, too. Oh, he's in a little skirt! What is it you're staring at me? Do you have a crush on me? Okay, so... Okay, sure. Uh, a false accusation out of nowhere. And he's speaking like a light middle-aged man. Fire your guns, kill him! Cute. Oh, stop it, you men! Uh... Do, do giants live underground? It's the first time I've seen one. Is he a marine? What the hell is happening? The ground is moving around like hay. Don't freak out, he must be an ability user. Oh no shit. <laughs> oh. This chapter is really cute. I don't know why I use the word cute, but. So what do you want to do about this? Compliant trash. I'm already in love with her. <sighs> huh, trust? What do you mean by that? And who are you guys? We are. Captain, there's two more of them. We are, Captain, there's two more of them. <laughs> hey, wait, wait just a second, Morley. Oh, look, he has Sabo's hat. Who are you? Wait, what? I have a new invention that I've been waiting to use. And instead of waiting, you went ahead and started fighting them first. I love the little the speech thing he has. Captain Pinkbeard, those guys are- I can't with Pinkbeard. Why? Why? Also, I'm wearing pink today. This is a bad timing. A ba <laughs> uh, those four, they're normally scattered around the world. Oh, they're all different commanders. They're members of the Revolutionary Army. Okay. Uh, Revolutionary Army, West Army Commander, Morley. Uh, Revolutionary- Army, East Army Commander. Fallow Betty. Oh my god, I love her. They all have the Sabo hat plush goggles. Except for this guy, but we'll, we'll get to him. Revolutionary Army, South Army Commander. Lindbergh. And North Army Commander, Karasu. Karasu. For Crow. Um... I really like their designs. Okay, look at Karasu for a second, though. <laughs> he looks like a matchup of literally every manga that I'm reading at the moment. Because it's like, he has the, the, the beak thing from Boku no Hero, but his thing is Karasu, like Haikyuu. Um, yeah. And he needs a One Piece. <laughs> uh, damn, I really like Bello Betty. <laughs> uh, all these girls. The Revolutionary Army? <laughs> Why are the four commanders of the Revolutionary Army gathered here in this town? <laughs> oh, I must say that these men are such violent creatures. It must be because they have a crush on your giant, uh, potato giant. No way? You think so? Gross. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> oh. Hey Betty, can I go ahead and finish them off? No one even answered the question, what the hell is, is he mumbling about? Mumble, mumble. <laughs> mm, he got mad for some reason. Okay. This. Oh my god. This this lineup of people is just incredible. <laughs> like, okay. I'll go back to that, but let's talk about it. That was really cool. 
Now what are you tr trash going to do? Will you die or will you fight? Choose your own fate. Do you think being a hero is someone else's duty? It, duty? it could be yours. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> uh, am I the only one who has an instant crush on her? Damn. Uh, the townspeople uh, picked up sticks. Hey, hey, don't make me laugh. Are you planning to fight us? Lind, Carlos, go to the other side to provide support. Leave it to us. <laughs> Ooh, I, <clears throat> How in the world? Because of her rallying cheers, power is welling up inside me. Ooh, is it her powers? Or is she just a great motivational speaker? <laughs> Change the pirates out of, uh, out of our town. That's right. That's the power of Betty's cheer cheer fruit. Oh, okay. That's interesting as power. Like, deal the word. Okay. With one wave of her flag, she's able to awaken the latent power in every person. Betty is the flag bearer of our freedom. Oh my god, can she give me the motivation I need to finish all my papers? <laughs> like, please. <laughs> it seems that they don't realize. The getting shot is painful. Take this cool shooter. Ooh, it's cold. The guns are being covered in ice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you bastards. Get out of here, you pirates. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. I want to know more about this inventor guy. Whose name I've already forgotten. I'll, I'll remember at some point. <laughs> when I reread the chapter. Wow, give me back. The crows, the crows are taking our swords. Oh, so he's a crow guy. I did not put two and two together until then. But yes, he's a crow guy. Okay. Um, Pinkbeard. He's worth 50 million, eh? Blackbeard's not me more. Won't let you get away with this. Unfortunately for you, he isn't the type of person to, carry, uh, to care about those serving under his flag. Please tell me there are more pages. Yes. <laughs> Hey, you cowardly, weak, and idiotic townspeople. The 50 million on his head is yours to claim. Oh, that's good, because they didn't have any money. Huh? Here's the contact information for you to get in touch with the Revolutionary Army. You guys did a good job here. You can call us anytime. We won't abandon weaklings who, won't, who want to rise up. I still love her. But, hello, Betty Sama. Hey, hey, everyone. What are... Uh, what are we meeting up for the first time? We're going to start a fight with the Celestial Dragons. Sounds awesome! I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and turn on the loudspeed, Karasu. I forgot. Time until the reverie. Two days. The many variables of this world have begun to move. More pages, please give me another page, please. No! That was the last one! No! Oh, but I love Betty! This chapter was good. Oh, I love revolutionary stuff. Let me just go back to when they were introduced. Because um, I've already forgotten like most of these people's names and I'm so horrible. I'm on page 79. Here we are. Okay. Uh, Morley, Betty, Lindbergh, and Karasu. Okay, so I love how this, like, they're so diverse. We have a transgender guy. We have a woman. We have a mink. And we have... The bird guy. <laughs> Who is he? Why does he only mumble? Can he not- oh, wait, he can't speak. Can he not? Um, he's a little weird and that's fine. <laughs> we have no like, uh, strictly normal person. <laughs> uh, this is nice. This is really nice. Um, I, I, I can't really get over Betty, like just- But this is really good. We have like two of the commanders are women, so that's like a nice 50 split. Um, and I love because I did say we were, were we definitely were we're gonna know one of them at least. We we know the crow guy. <laughs> I don't know if there would have been. I feel like we might have known that Lindbergh existed, uh, just in the same way that we know Karasu existed. Uh, the two others, I I don't know. <laughs> Um, 
but I would love to know more about all of them. That w that was really nice. And I really liked that they just like, they were like, Blackbeard attacked their island. They were like, eh, we'll just move to another island. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> that was really great. Cause they do have like, uh, even if they had that one base, they could just move to another place where they have lots of allies. So that was really great. Um, I love her powers, uh, the cheer cheer from, cheer cheer power. Um, that's really interesting, like, uh, especially for their cause, being able to cheer people on. Um, and I suppose, like, she, can, she can't make people do what they don't want to do. Like, she's cheering them on to do something that they would do if they just had the power to do it. Like, they want to defend their town, but they don't think they're strong enough. Um, I mean, I wouldn't think I was strong enough either, either if pirates came and attacked my town. I would definitely leave it to someone else um but if she cheers them on and they just like give in to what they actually want to do i think that's i, I assume that's how her power works like, like you, you can't like cheer someone on to like kill someone if they don't like really want to kill that person i don't think um i mean i guess you could but i don't know i don't know exactly how her powers work uh like what did they say um um she's able to awaken the latent power in every person uh like that's kind of the restriction we know so i don't know I, I just assume you can't really um you can't make someone do something they didn't want they don't want to do um uh, morley has like uh i thought of diamante when i saw her powers at first uh because it had like the ground earth thing it could also be something like uh what was his name The guy Frankie fought against and just rose up. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, no, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bad person. Uh, but I thought of those like powers at first, but I'm interested in seeing how that power differs from theirs. Um, Lindbergh is an inventor, so I guess he's like their, their uh, I don't want to call it a replacement for not having Becca Punk, but like every, every, every like, powerful organization needs someone to be able to invent thing. like, things. We have Frankie, we have Caesar, we have Lindbergh, we have Vegapunk, uh, we have the Germa. Um, so that's really good. And then we have Karasu. Um, I assume his powers is just birds. <laughs> uh, so, but it's interesting because he's not like the usual, like, Soan type in the, because he doesn't turn into, like, one bird. He turns into lots of birds, right? And he can control birds? Wait, I forgot what it, um, when, when Sabo flew away in Tristress, what he, was he on one bird or multiple birds? I'm gonna search for this. Give me a second. Sabo. Crows. Tristressa. Um. Yeah, there's multiple birds. So maybe he can just control birds? No, but the crows spoke. <laughs> um, so, I mean... I'm not entirely sure because usually, yeah, yeah, he just turns himself into birds, but usually you turn into one bird. So I'm interested in knowing like what exactly his power is, or maybe it's like his cape that's made, oh wait, his cape is made of birds, so he just controls birds, but the birds can talk. I'm so confused as to what this power is because like Sabo communicated with the bird, unless the bird had like a denden mushi on it and that was what what Shaba was talking to when he flew away on the birds. <sighs> Do you see my dilemma here? Because um, I think he's just wearing like a cape of birds and he isn't he isn't really a bird himself because I don't think this would be a sewing type. Maybe it's more like um, maybe it is more like the power what's his name? The guy from BNA who can also uh, who can also talk to animals, but he can just only talk to birds <laughs> or crows as it is. I want to know more about this power. Because it, it, it can't be a sewing type, right? And this is a really weird sewing type. Because he isn't the bird himself. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm just spiraling time here. Get, give me your suggestions as to what exactly this power is. Because Sapo talked to the bird, the bird responded. Uh... And I know that because I just looked it up. <laughs> I just saw the panel of it. The bird definitely talked. Um, 
but he could just have been carrying a dental mushi. So, also happy we got this uh, pink beard out of the way. I mean, I thought that we had that as well when we saw brown beard the first time. Then he came back and punk hazard. Um, and so I don't know, but uh, are we have do we have other beards then? Because we could have a green beard, a purple beard, a uh, a uh, a gray beard, uh, other beards, <laughs> a no beard. <laughs> Um, and what do you do if you have a black beard? Do you become black beard number two, black beard underling, not good enough to be known as black beard? Who knows? Um, yeah, I, I, I did enjoy this chapter. Uh, I have to leave soon though, so I can't talk too much. Uh, but I did really enjoy this chapter. <laughs> Oh, we have. I didn't even uh, see Nasumi was there as well. Of course, that makes sense. I love them so much. Honestly. Inasuma is just like a joy. <laughs> uh, definitely an underrated character. One of the reasons Impo Down is one of my favorite arcs. Um, just one of them. There are like a million reasons. Uh, but I also really like, Sabo really feels like, he, he has the same antics as, as Ace when it comes to Luffy just being like really proud of him. Like when, um, was it Marco who kind of like, uh, he talked about how Ace was just like grinning and everything when he saw Luffy's bounty poster the first time around. Um, or was it in a flashback? I don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like that. Um, I'm really excited. Just to get more, get to know more about uh, the Revolutionary Army and what exactly they're gonna do. Because like, are they're gonna obviously not? We know they're gonna uh, declare war against the Ten Yubito, but um, what exactly is that gonna involve? Because they're definitely gonna do something way over the top. Um, and are they just gonna declare war and then leave after they declared war? Or are they gonna like? take someone hostage, kill someone, destroy something, uh, take some more, and I don't want to call it take territory because they liberate people, but, you know, make more countries free. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. Um, I, I don't have much more time and I don't think I'll have time to upload this. And even though <laughs> I record this in the morning, you probably won't see it until in a few hours. But you don't know that. You don't know that. Um, but yeah, this was a good chapter. I really liked it. Um, so yeah, um, you can like, you can comment, and you can subscribe, and until I get time to do a review slash the other chapters that will come out today slash tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>